This is Hard Rocker Highlights from the Christensen Hall of Fame here on the campus of the School of Mines. We have Hard Rocker basketball player Scott May with us. And, you know, you look at Scott, he's so youthful looking and so young, and yet he's one of the old men on this Hard Rocker team, a senior who's played for four years, started for four years. And, and Scott, when you came to the School of Mines, uh, and, and now that you've played four years, when you think back to your decision to come to school here, uh, what were some of the factors that uh, made you decide on the School of Mines? Um, it was really good school. That was one of the biggest things was, I kind of had no clue where I was gonna go and kind of what I wanted to do. And I came here on my visit and uh, talked to Dr. Kirk and really liked the kind of program that he in Yeshua Engineering was offering. So that was one of the big decisions and also, uh, they're graduating a lot of seniors that year, and so I thought I had the opportunity to come in and play some, so that was one, another big reason I came. Was Colorado Mines an option at all for you? Uh, it was a little bit. I talked to them a little bit, and um, kind of like this, the campus here more, and uh, kind of kind of like the vibe here better. And as you look back to, uh, obviously you're going to graduate in May in four years, and, and talk about the challenges and how Scott May has changed as a person from his freshman year now to being able to graduate and go out into the quote real world. <laughs> well you just learn a lot kind of doing a lot of stuff on your own now um, kind of in high school you know you got a bunch of paperwork came home handed off to the parents and said here you go get this you know I need this by Tuesday or something but here you're doing a lot of paperwork yourself and kind of doing everything for your own and uh, making sure that you have everything right and everything that you need is, is on set. So. How do you feel about you know being a four-year starter and you are one of the older men now on the team? Yeah. It seems like such a misnomer looking at Scott, but uh, what type of leadership do you feel is your responsibility? Or as a senior, what do you think your role is on the team uh, away from the actual points and rebounds and assists? Um, just kind of explaining to the freshmen kind of how it's going on, where kind of what's going on. Um, a lot of times they come to me about class stuff, you know, what class should I take, you know, mm -hmm. should I take this semester, or what should I take this semester. But a lot of stuff like that, and also a lot of just kind of what to expect from practices and workouts and road trips, a lot of those are, um, they're kind of new to it and I've been there a lot and kind of know what's going on, so kind of help them out, you know, maybe just figuring out what to pack or what to bring for road trips, just stuff, anything like that. When you make the commitment to play college basketball like you have and the sacrifices of an athlete has to make here at the School of Mines, uh, and, and you look back at your career, when did you know that basketball was going to be a very important part of your life? Um, kind of in high school. Um, most of my friends, were, I played, I played all sorts of sports all through until about high school, and then kind of during my second year of high school, all my friends were playing it, and it was just something I really loved, and I loved playing it, and I wanted to play more year-round, and so I kind of took away all the other sports that I was trying to play basketball year-round. Um, after I did that, it was, uh, from there on, it was a lot of basketball and really enjoyed it. So. If you, uh, are you looking forward to the next stage of your life then, getting out and, and into the work world? And uh, uh, is, are you ready for that next step? A little bit, yeah. It's kind of nerve-wracking, just not, you know, not really knowing what you're going to do. It's kind of having your whole life set out for you until now. And, then it's going to change, but yeah, it's exciting and hopefully it'll turn out well. So. If you could go home tonight and you would have on a table, you sat down for supper, <laughs> and you sat down at a table and could have any meal in the world, what would you have? Uh, I definitely have pancakes. Pancakes is <laughs> they're my favorite meal. <laughs> and Morning, noon, or night, huh? Yeah, definitely. Me and me and my roommate Jordan and Tanner, we uh, always go to IHOP to have unlimited pancakes, so we've been doing that a lot lately. Now, how does a man get hooked on pancakes? I couldn't tell you. I had no clue. <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> something I like. So. That's interesting. So pancakes for Scott May. You know, I like pancakes, but I really haven't had it, had them lately. So in honor of you, sometime <laughs> yeah. this week, I'm going to have pancakes for breakfast. Uh, Scott, as you look through your career, can you point back, and we're, of course this chapter of the mm -hmm. season is not completed yet, but uh, certainly uh, the game last week uh, at Black Hills, the year before at Black Hills, had to be standout games mm -hmm. in your mind. Any other games that you really look back on, it? maybe individually from your effort that, that you remember? Um, individually, we kind of played a game against Minot last year, and 
just kind of seeing we were all kind of flat and nobody, we weren't really playing well. And I kind of went on, had a little streak of like 10 points in a row right at the end of the game. And that was one of my highlights of individually. And, uh, just as a team, probably last year too, going on that run, we were on the road for so long and going to uh, Dickinson and then Valley and then even to Jamestown was, it was a good run and that was a lot of fun. Well, Scott May has certainly had a great career here at the School of Mines. One of my favorite players over the years to watch because Scott only knows one way to play, and that's 110%. What advice would you give anybody, a freshman coming into the School of Mines as a basketball player, as we as you lead your career? What advice would you give somebody that, of course, won't be here next year, but you could offer this year? Um, I just say definitely try to learn from the kids who know what they're doing. I think that helps out a lot. I really didn't have anybody to kind of learn from or because everybody was so young when I got here and um, kind of the older kids now, you can kind of see just doing little uh, little movements and during practice and stuff like that that is really um, not advanced, but just experience and kind of learning from them and just learning little tricks of the trade from the older guys, I think is definitely something that would benefit. Great advice from Scott May, Scott out of the Denver area, a senior here on the School of Mines basketball team. For Hard Rocker highlights, for Scott May, this is Tom Rudabush, and for InsideDakotaSports.com.